Hello friends, welcome to Unity 3D Teacher Tutorial. So this video is about how to change a fiber point for a 2D sprite in different different scenario. So we are going to see how to achieve that. So let's have a ball now, drag and drop now. So if you see, uh, so I'm going to rotate the ball now. Okay, open the script. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a rotation script transform dot rotate x y and z it's time dot delta time and then the amount of speed you like to make a rotation okay and then space dot self okay uh, so I don't want to do any other space in three in GA in real time so let's have a space dot cell hit play and let's see what happened so here you can able to I'm sorry there is some rendering issue I think rotation is not happening in game oops in scene it's happening it's not in game I am not sure what is the issue I think it's rendering it's happening see okay let's create a new screen and drag and drop okay hit play now it's perfect so now it's perfect everything so now what let's play yeah so here you can able to see the rotation is happening but uh, it's not in a perfect way the ball is rotated in different way it need to be in some other rotation form why just go to sprite and uh, let's see the pivot so here the pivot is on bottom so you want to change at top center then only the object will rotate perfect so let's make center uh, handy hit apply okay then play yeah now the object is rotating perfectly so you can able to see that so in this way you can able to change for a particular object so you want to be go to sprite editor and you can able to change here okay so you can choose either top left or center something or you can move above the icon it's your choice to do that and then uh, this is a shortcut okay so I'm just making a shortcut and hit apply let's try next object next object is a uh, character so my character I'm going to make flip so let's see how to do that okay let's play and in a sprite render click on flip okay let's click on play flip you can able to see you some jerk jerking kind of issues happening like a pixelate kind of thing we don't want to need that uh, we don't want to do that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to check my sprite editor you can able to see my pivot point is some other position I want to make to center so that the object while doing a fly flip I can able to do so dragon cursor and hit up so you can either do in shortcut and or in cursor yeah now it's working perfectly so in this way you can able to flip for a character you can able to do in y axis also seamlessly without any issue so in this way you can able to make a for a character uh, so I uh, either you can do by cursor or in shortcut next is speedometer so next difficulties while rotation is say yeah, speedometer we have a speedometer object here drag and drop that so we have a meter also so let's see what difficulties we are going to face so the meter we are going to rotate okay so while rotating we will get some issue so that is a big issue so we'll try to 
made some rotation and see here you can able to see so while rotating yeah, the meter is not rotating perfectly so to avoid and to achieve a perfect output so we want to do some changes okay let's make center by basic okay it's center now okay so go to this particular sprite object and click on sprite editor and you, let's check bottom left and hit apply so while making the object will change don't worry about that you can change and do that so make it center and try to rotate now even though it's not rotating perfectly we don't want to do this kind of option yeah so what we'll do again we'll try to go to the sprite editor and we'll try to change the sprite go to the sprite editor and you want to be perfectly no you want to know perfectly where you want to place okay so it need to be in center of that needle so just drag that icon on the needle of the center and hit apply yeah so let's we try to rotate now so again try to adjust your position once you change the power hit play and rotate perfect now you can able to rotate perfectly without any issue yeah so we'll try to add some script and see so we have a script already we'll try the to drag and drop the script and let's see what happened hit play oh it's we in anti-clockwise i'll try to make clockwise so let's have minus Hit play. So everything is going perfectly. So it's rotating exactly what we need for the speedometer. You can able to see that. So it's rotating clockwise and it has been in a center. Everything is perfect. So that's it. So you want to be make sure that perfectly you want to use a uh, pivot accordingly next we have a card card is one of the 2d sprite uh, very difficult task to handle that so let's see how to do that so we let's say create a three cards so and then we'll try to change a layer for the cards also so that it should be like a one back to one so I'll try to have 0, 1, 2 layers for each cards and I try to place everything perfectly on a position ok let's make 0 card card 1, card 2, card 3 let's rename everything card 1, card 2 and card 3 okay it's fine now so we want to rotate but the issue is let's but the issue we are going to get is uh, rotation it's not going to happen perfectly so this is a format we are going to make a rotation like a thin body modern style thin body game we are going to open the core like uh, the person having and okay so you have a four chords but we are going to make a three chords okay so i'm trying to achieve that like a kind of animation like opening a card closing card let's create a button two buttons so one was for close card and another one for open card Okay. 
so let's see which position uh, which position exactly we want to do a rotation so in order to do that your object need to be in a perfect position all right so exactly in a perfect uh, pivot axis or some axis so you want to decide where it should be then only you can go for a rotation so by default if you see so just as in that uh, while giving your artist it will be in the center so i'll try to rotate it won't rotate perfectly which i am trying to achieve so in order to do that you want to change your chord system i mean it was pride pivot system so change from center to bottom left and hit apply let's see what happen now we'll try to rotate now even though it's not a perfect this is not a perfect position let's see try one more position mm, it should be center so i'm going bottom center so you don't want to apply for each and every object once you apply for one sprite it will do for all the game object so you don't want to worry about the core of the object need to be changed okay let's try to rotate the rotation is going to be is that axis so yeah it's perfect now it's rotating perfectly okay so we'll try to call by script opening and closing let's have a public game object cards and then one more public integer variable values so it's going to hold the values how much differ the card need to be open the so this value is going to be have in this array integer array So let's drag and drop the cards. We have a three cards: card one, card two, and then card three. Okay. And we want to have a card values later. Let's see, find what type of card value we need. So we'll try to rotate and find uh, for card one. It's to going to be left position. I need. 20 okay similarly for second it's going to be 0 i don't want to change for a third it's going to be minus 20 yeah perfect now so we are going to make a same system with the help of a scripting so you can able to see the cards is rotating perfectly with the help of pi word which he changed so go to the main camera and make it card values first is going to be a uh, 20 and third is going to be a minus 20 okay so we'll try to make a function public void open chord and or no function called close chord so we have a through two chord functions so let's call the chords using a for uh, loop so in order to apply all the chords we need to have a loop so let's me copy and paste in close call close call also so chord of i dot transform dot it's going to be a transform dot euler's angle so let's finish the uh, close close call first maybe transform dot euler's angle equal to vector 3 dot 0 so it will 
remain back to the original position you can either write like this or you can have a new vector 3 and x y and z position you can even write like this it's your choice i'm going with shortcut key so we'll write to map the function in a button and let's see close button so map the button now with the script main camera or drag and drop and then choose a function i think there will be some issue let me check on that it's a small issue okay let's come and say it will work now so now call the close code function hit play and click on close i'm sorry rotation is happening previous script is working so let us disable that okay perfect now it will it won't rotate now so click on close it will be closed so click on open we want to make function so copy and paste the same system uh, but we don't want to do that same condition but it's different we want to have code values of i that's it. i'm sorry it must be in some issue let me check on that uh, okay it's float sorry it need to be have in uh, vector 3 because we are assigning so let's have new vector 3 x y is going to be 0 z i'm going to have my customized value everything is done now hit play oops I missed one thing sorry for that for open I want to call the function okay let's uh, open button as the name no issue with the name but I am trying to make some professional thing open card hit play close open close open close open yeah it's work working perfectly like a normal card game while doing animation at the time of picking the i mean uh, while card is received you can either close the card or open the card so in this way you can be able to do that animation so pivot point is a main thing you want to choose accordingly either by selecting or tying I'm just making a wrong decision. I mean a wrong pivot and seeing see it won't work. So in what you want to be in you want to judge perfectly where you want to use. So you can do more trial and error to achieve that particular condition depending upon the scenario. So for this condition it need to be in the middle center, I mean bottom center, then only this system will work. So that's it. If you think this video is very helpful for you, please subscribe us and hit the bell icon. Thank you.